The Incredible Hulk gave us a basic abridged backstory in which Bruce Banner was subjected to tons of gamma radiation, which is something I don't recommend trying at home. But comic book fans know that there's another important ingredient when making up a Hulk, and that is repressed rage and trauma. We know Banner's always angry, but why? There have been many different versions of his backstory over the years, but none that we've seen incorporated into the MCU. Just trust me when I tell you I've heard them all. Not this one. To make the prospect of a proper backstory even more tantalizing, we've come really close to learning about Banner's past. There's a deleted scene in The Incredible Hulk in which Banner tries to take his own life, and he later references it during The Avengers when talking about how indestructible his other form is. I put a bullet in my mouth and the other guy spit it out. Was he driven to the brink simply because of his connection to the Hulk, or was his past trauma a contributing factor? In the 1978 Incredible Hulk TV series, he was tormented by the fact that he failed to save his wife from a fatal car accident. Then in 2003, we had another film about the character simply called Hulk, which touched on this hero's complicated relationship with his father. When Thaddeus Ross gave David Banner a firm no on the topic of human experimentation, the scientist decided to do the testing on himself. I know it seems like there's no way this could have gone wrong. He believed his son inherited some of the impact of his super soldier experiment. And when Ross called him out, he caused an explosion and a lot of psychological pain for his son who later repressed those painful memories. According to the comic books, Banner's father was a major source of his rage, which led to his transformation into the Incredible Hulk. Without going into terrible, traumatizing detail, let's just say that he makes his dad from the Hulk movie look like father of the year. Now, I'm not asking Marvel to go that dark in their family friendly franchise, but I think there's room to include information about Banner's painful past in a tasteful way. It's a big part of his origin story, which explains not only his transformation into the Hulk, but many aspects of his personality and motivations for his actions. Revisiting Banner's past could also be a way to bring back elements from the Incredible Hulk movie that have been shelved for far too long. Whatever happened to his love interest, Betty Ross? Before he and Black Widow had their seemingly random flirtation, he was smitten with Ross, who just disappeared and was never heard from again. She was a smart, capable, and caring character, and it's a shame she vanished after her appearance in this movie. And then there's Samuel Stearns, who got a dose of Banner blood and ended up mutating into the comic book character known as The Leader. I was very excited to see this villain on the big screen fighting the good people of the MCU, but over a decade later, I'm still waiting. Give us more information about Banner's past, and let's see him face off against the leader. Looking back at Banner's past could also give us a chance to see Tony Stark in the MCU again, or at least his father, Howard Stark. Uh, not that I'm missing Iron Man or anything like that. There is another character from Banner's past that we will definitely be seeing more of in the future. Jennifer Walters is his cousin as well as the hero She-Hulk. They share family members as well as experiences growing up together and revealing these would give us more information about Walters and Banner. Since we're getting a She-Hulk show on Disney+, Plus, this could be the perfect excuse for a standalone Hulk film that could reveal the pasts of these two characters. I know everything from the comics won't make it into the MCU, but maybe Marvel could try the old comic technique of declaring the Incredible Hulk non-canon and retconning his origin story. We could see Mark Ruffalo experiencing his first transformation, and learn more about how he became the hero he is today. Yeah, there are some copyright issues that would have to be worked through regarding the character, but let's not pretend like Disney's cash couldn't make that kind of a problem disappear.